is the fun part. Okay, go ahead. Ew. You're kind of ugly. That's a, that's a... Yeah. And wait, wait, I'm the ugly one? one? Yeah. Look in the camera. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Well, let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I have a question for you. Yeah. So, uh, now, as an only fan, if you guys were to date, how would you handle that? I wouldn't date. I wouldn't date you, honestly. You I wouldn't would, date me. I would just hit, honestly. That's it. That's I would just, so I, would, I would just hit. Truth is not rude. It's simply truth. It's not offensive. It's not judgmental. It is simply the truth. How you feel about it is not my responsibility or anyone else's responsibility, but yours. Do not try to save women in any way, shape, or form. When you do so, you're being a simp. If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? Now, Savage, what? when you say you love women, you love them with the heart, and how many times your heart got broke? I got no heart. <laughs> <laughs> we laugh now, but when you consider what it takes for a man to get to this point, not a funny story. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls are having babies in 2023. I've never been so thankful for so many men in my comment section calling me a four, like, pff, dodging this bullet. <laughs> And this is what the younger generation of women are growing up to. Bitter old women who are taking the most beautiful and most powerful thing about women and describing it as a bullet. And watching this got me a little curious. So I dug a little deeper and the more I listened to this woman, the more I started to understand. I just think it's funny that you asked me what I bring to the table and then followed up with, are you a virgin? What's your body count? Like, not are you emotionally, mentally healthy? Like, do you communicate well? Like, you know, things that are actually needed to have a, a healthy relationship. No, you're worried about fucking body count because what does that have to do with what I actually bring to the table? Like, <laughs> God. Zero understanding of the fact that when someone asks you what you bring to the relationship, it's not about what you want, what you think, what you feel. Have you considered the perspective that they're basically asking what you bring to them, which is not about you, but them? I don't know who needs to hear this, but you don't need a boyfriend. You need a dog. I think that women who date men for money really do have the best idea. At the end of the day, he's gonna break your heart anyway. Might as well get rich. And to mothers out there, Whilst you're busy at work boss bitching, this is what your kids are spending their day watching and listening to. That's Teddy, and that's also Teddy. I named them all Teddy because I, I can't tell the difference. I am absolutely convinced that men don't actually want relationships. Like, men want their lives as is. They want to go about their day exactly as it is. No, it's because the women, you, are out here labeling all of them as teddies and then still expecting them to come and get into a relationship with you. We know marriage was created as a way to control women. Like the, the most successful demographic right now is unmarried women with no children. The second most successful demographic is married men with children. Like if that doesn't explain the way our society is, I don't know what does. This is easily explained by simple logic. The unmarried women with no children are working hard to find fulfillment in their lives. So they need to be able to afford those trips, those Gucci bags and hot girl summers. The married men with wives and children in their lives need to be able to provide for their families. But what's funny is that now that women are divorcing at higher rates because they can or choosing not to get married or not have kids at all, men like you are finding new ways to keep us in our place by taking away bodily autonomy and putting laws in place that are going to make it to where we are still fucking stuck no matter what tell me i'm wrong you are wrong so men have worked hard to provide for you protect you make the world a safer place granted you your freedoms only so they could come up with new ways to take away those freedoms i'll try and break it down one more time the fact that you are attracted to me and the mess that I am is the red flag. Th that is the red flag. Now that I can agree with. Being freedom of speech for women. Oh God. Oh God. Like her right there, they just trying to boss y'all around. Oh God. She don't need to talk no more. She need to be back in the kitchen. You oh know what I'm saying? Bro. Really <laughs> Sensational. I heard of people assuming that because of my look that 
I'm a fun girl. I know how to have fun, but don't stop fun girling me. A nigga like me, man. I love the game. So she is a I love the hustle. Man. That her? Girl, she's a fucking stripper, bro. Cut this shit off, bro. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. They don't fun girl you because of your look. It's because you're, you fucking work at a strip club, bro. Don't be in the streets behaving like you're for the streets. And then come back complaining when people call you out for what you are. Sir Listen, Happy dude, I'm done with Dude, you've been done. I'm still here. For what? See. Why? Because you just want to be a asshole. You're right. Then why the fuck would you be in this competition, phone face? You don't, you why do you look you... 50 and you're 24? What? What did you say? Go yourself, you <laughs> piece of <laughs> Poor <laughs> excuse for a tattooer. That one, there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have been. Yes, women are more masculine these days. We, we as, as we've seen, women are more masculine these days. Yeah. But let's look at why. Why are women more masculine these days? I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Bro, now, let me answer your question, huh? Yes. With all due respect, let's say I yes. was broke and okay. I was fat and I was smoking pot every day. Okay. And I wanted to go on a date with you. Would you give me a chance? No. no. Okay. So you don't give about my problems. Why should I give about yours? Ooh. No, it's not about. No, 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 hold on, hold on. I find it amazing. <laughs> okay. How women can reject men, right? And y'all don't give a fuck why we're losers or we're fat. Or we're not where we want to be. But y'all expect us to accept the fact that you're masculine. And better yet, we need to know why and understand why and accept you. I do not have sympathy for you <laughs> chicks, yeah? When you get old, you hit the wall, and now you start complaining, oh, where has all the good men gone? Bruh, you had the good men, they're in your friend zone, in your best years, bro. Can you define a high-value woman to me, or to you? Um, high-value woman is someone who, first of all, has a lot of respect for herself, you know, um, has a lot of, like, pride, you know, works hard. It's very funny how these answers never have anything to do with the person who might be placing this value on them. Do you um, think men want prideful hard workers? Mm. Well, I, I, I feel like no, because men obviously just want someone who's beautiful and is submissive. just going to mm -hmm. be submissive and say yes. And well, that's at least what we're being told. Mm -hmm. But I feel like... I think that's not true. No. That men don't like submissive women. No, I don't think so. No. Maybe take a moment to listen and your perspective might change. What, what would you look for a woman to wife? Right, like on Instagram. That, that's like, yeah, thank you. So would you want to like have a, like a bad bitch or like an average bitch? You want to like, know, wife? you want to know what like is an uncomfortable uh, answer? What you guys want is not what we want. You want someone that's lit on Instagram that has a good lifestyle. You want a guy that's out and that. about with sports cars and able to do certain things. We don't want that shit. We don't want our girl all over the place. We want our girl to only show her body to us. We want our girl inside. We don't want our girl outside embarrassing us, being annoying, loud, obnoxious, not being agreeable, etc. Men are different. It has become very common that these women are conflating what they want and what men want because they all now think that we want what they want which makes no sense because we are different agree or disagree let me know what you think in the comments down below and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i'll catch you on the next one